Have you ever wondered what would happen if we humans maxed out all our civilization stats and unlocked every achievement on the Kardashev scale? No? Well, you're about to. Imagine if we humans treated civilization like a video game. You know, those games where you start with a tiny hut and a single chicken, and by the end of it, you've got a metropolis with skyscrapers touching the clouds, and your chicken is now a genetically engineered super chicken laying golden eggs. Yeah, that's us on the Kardashev scale. It's a theoretical system that measures a civilization's level of advancement based on energy consumption. It's like experience points in a game, but instead of fighting monsters, we're harnessing the power of planets, stars, and eventually entire galaxies. Now I know what you're thinking. Wow, that sounds like a ton of responsibility. Can't we just stick to the super chickens? Well, too late, you're already strapped in. So buckle up, folks, as we embark on this wild ride to the future of civilization where the energy of whole galaxies is at our fingertips. So you think we're advanced because we have smartphones and Wi-Fi? Wait till you hear about a Type 1 civilization. Imagine a civilization that's as sophisticated as a New York cheesecake, but instead of cream cheese, it's all about harnessing the raw power of a planet. That's right, folks. We're talking about a civilization that has evolved to the point of using and controlling all the energy available on its home planet. And no, we're not just talking about double tapping on Instagram or mastering the art of TikTok dances. You think inventing the wheel was a big deal? Well, a type one civilization would look at that and laugh. They've got the power to control every gust of wind, every ray of sunlight and every wave in the ocean. They could probably even make the Earth do a little spin move just for fun. Makes your newest iPhone look like a potato, huh? Now you might be wondering, when can we expect to join this exclusive club? Well, according to the Kardashev scale, we're not even a Type 1 civilization yet. We're still stuck at the kiddie table, playing with our food. But don't worry, we're making progress. Some optimistic scientists predict we could reach this level in about 100 to 200 years. So we've got time to practice our best we're a type 1 civilization dance moves. In the meantime, we'll keep tinkering with our smartphones and Wi-Fi and maybe even invent a few things that make us feel like we're really onto something. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll be able to control the weather, harness the power of the oceans, and turn the earth into our personal dance floor. But until then, we'll keep dreaming, keep innovating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine controlling every gust of wind, every ray of sunlight, and every wave in the ocean. Makes your smartphone look like a potato, huh? Now, if you thought controlling an entire planet's energy was impressive, brace yourself for the Type 2 civilization. This is the civilization that's decided, hey, this one planet, it's not enough. Let's take over the whole star. Now imagine being able to harness the power of an entire star. We're talking about using concepts like Dyson spheres here, folks. No, not the vacuum cleaner, although that would be a stellar cleanup job. A Dyson sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that completely encompasses a star and captures most or all of its power output. Think of it as a giant solar panel wrapped around the sun. If we could build one of these, we'd have so much energy at our disposal, we could probably power a thousand Earths. And you thought your high-speed blender was a power hog. Scientists speculate that reaching this level would mean we've achieved a level of technological sophistication that we can't even begin to comprehend. I mean, we're still struggling to get a rover to Mars without it taking a dirt nap. And these guys are talking about building structures around stars, but Imagine the possibilities. No more fighting over the TV remote because the batteries are dead. No more frantically searching for a power outlet at the coffee shop because your laptop's about to die. In fact, the only real problem left would be figuring out how to store all that energy. But hey, I'm sure we, we could figure it out. After all, we'd be a civilization that's harnessed the power of a star, so running out of battery would be a thing of the past. But you'd probably still lose your charging cable. I mean, come on. We can't solve all the world's problems, or can we? Well, that's a question for another time. For now, let's just dream about a future where the only thing we're short on is the length of our charging cables. All right, folks, hold on to your hats. It's time to talk about the big league players, the type three civilization. 
These guys are the cosmic equivalent of the smart kid who sits in the front row in class and answers every question before you've even had a chance to raise your hand. They've got the whole galaxy powering their nightlights. Can you imagine that? Harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. It's like trying to count every grain of sand on Earth, but instead of counting, you're just grabbing handfuls and throwing them into a giant cosmic furnace to keep your civilization toasty warm. Now you might be thinking, sure, that sounds great, but do these civilizations actually exist? Well, the jury's still out on that one. Some scientists think they've found traces of these advanced civilizations, like an overenthusiastic kid who swears he's found Bigfoot's footprint in his backyard. But until we get a postcard from one of these civilizations saying, greetings from the Andromeda galaxy, wish you were here, we're just left guessing. But let's not get hung up on the details. The important thing here is the sheer audacity of it all. The ambition to not just reach for the stars, but to harness them, to bend the cosmos to our will. Now that's something to aspire to. Imagine having the power of an entire galaxy, but still not being able to find a matching pair of socks in the morning. Well, folks, that's our journey to the pinnacle of civilization. Quite a ride, huh? Imagine, we've traversed from planetary to stellar and finally galactic level. But hey, even at the height of civilization, we'd still forget where we put our starship keys. And I bet we'd still have that one friend who can't operate the simplest quantum computer. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting the like button. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, show us some love by you guessed it hitting that like button anyway so in the end it all leads to that like button thanks folks